All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakah, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. All right, Yahweh, that's the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this world calls God. Yahweh Shah, that's the true name of his only begotten Son, who this, son, who this world refers to as Jesus Christ. All right, uh, Bahashem, that's in the name. The Rakah Kodash, that's the Holy Spirit. All right, also I want to give a uh, say shalom and uh, and greetings to the to the elect. All right, the hundred forty four thousand men that's laboring in His truth. Also, the one third of the men, women, and children. All right, that's listening in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom. All right. Um, and let me just get right into it. You know, because you know these. You know, this is, uh, all right, let me just get the scripture. All right. You know, it, it, it breaks it down better. This is, I'm going to start out the book of John chapter four, verse 22. Ye worship, ye know not what we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. All right. You see that, man? All right. We know, we know what we worship, man. All right. We worship, we worship in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and all truth and sincerity, man. All right, we're not worshiping, you know, this uh, this uh, this so-called white man that these churches that they refer to. All right, we're not worshiping the name Jesus Christ, man. All right, because that bring, brings on the vibration of of the of the so-called white man. All right, you know that he's God, you know, all nice and uh, and prosperity, the prosperity gospel, you know, the uh, the Christianity, you know, that brings on all those vibrations, man. All right, and we're not gonna um, and we're not gonna worship, you know that that uh, that that idol, all right, that false god, all right, and it says for we know what we worship, all right, we worship Yahweh by Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, all right, so called dark skinned men, all right, for salvation is of the Jews, man, all right, and we know salvation is only for the nation of Israel, man, all right. You so-called blacks explain it to Native Americans, man. All right. And uh, verse 23 says, but the hour cometh and and now is. You see that hour? The hour is now, man. All right. These scriptures have are coming to the uh, are, 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 is uh, is coming to. Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, they they. They are being revealed before our very eyes, man. These scriptures, man. The truth of the scriptures. All right, it says, But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. All right, you know, and that hour is now. All right, we're, we're the true worshipers, man. All right, the so called blacks explaining to Native Americans, man. All right. These are the true worshipers of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right, and, and and they're coming forth now, man. All right, shall worship the Father in, in spirit and in truth. All right, we're coming in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right, correcting the brothers. All right, correcting the nation, man. Going out to the highways and byways. All right, we're not in these churches anymore, man. The true worshipers. All right, we're out there on the, on the streets, man. The wisdom uh, crieth out in the streets. All right, it says, For the Father seeketh such to worship him. All right, and that's that hour, man, of the, the Lord. You know, he's waking up his elect men. All right, he's waking up his true worshipers to come worship him in this in this hour, man. All right, and this, verse 24 says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth, man. You have to worship him in spirit, in your spirit, all right, and in truth, man. All right? You know, because the Lord, you know, his spirit dwells within us. All right, so to worship him in spirit, you have to you have to uh, be in tune with these scriptures, all right, keeping the law, statutes, commandments, all right, and in truth, man. All truth and in sincerity, man. All right. And the truth is, you know, these so-called white people that are going into slavery, man. All right. These other nations, these Chinese, 
uh, Japanese, the so-called Africans, all right, Arabs, man, they're going into slavery, man. All right, so to be able to be in that spirit of, of the Lord, man, you have to be able to, to declare his truth as well. All right. And uh, let me get a story here in Daniel. You know, this is the time that we're in, man. All right. This is Daniel chapter four. Let me see where I can start. Now, this is three. Uh, Daniel chapter three. And I'll start at verse. Okay, I'll start at verse 14. Uh, Daniel chapter three, verse 14. Nebuchadnezzar said and spake and said unto them, it is true, O, Sh o Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now, if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psalmetry, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, Ye fall and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a fiery of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the fire, from the burning fiery furnace, and he will not, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. All right? Yeah, hey, how about Shemiah Shai will deliver us, man? All right? But not these false gods, man. All right? And let me continue reading. Uh, verse 18, but if, but if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. All right, and all right, and, and this time is going to come. All right, this time is slowly approaching again, man. All right, people are going to be tried, man. That hour of temptation, man, as it refers to in Revelations, man. All right, you know, are, are you going to uh, denounce the faith of Yahweh Shimiel Shah just for a temporary gain? All right, or are you going to stay true and uh and and, uh, and faithful to your how about Shah? All right. Um let me finish the story. Uh verse 19 then when Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury and the form of his visions of his visions was was changed against Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they sh they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was than it was want to be heated all right so he he turned up the heat on it all right and he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind shadrach meshach and abednego and cast them into the burning fury of furnace then these men were bound in their coats their hoses and their hats and their other garments were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace therefore because the king's commandment was urgent and the furnace exceeding hot the flames of the fire slew those men that cast that took up shadrach meshach and abednego so those those mighty men that took the three men into the furnace they was uh, they got burnt up because of how, how hot it was all right and then it says verse 23 it says then these three men shadrach meshach and abednego fell down bound into the midst of the fiery of the burning fiery furnace then nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors 
Did not we cast three men into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of Man. The Son of the Most is like the Son of God. Alright, hey, so that was that was an angel in there, man. Alright, Yahweh Shah. Alright. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the mouth of the burning fire fiery furnace and spake and said Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, ye servants of the most high God, come forth and come and come hither then Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire and the princes, governors and captains and the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon whose bodies that who, upon whose bodies the fire had no had no power, nor was in hair of their head seen, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. All right, so nothing touched them, man. The hair, no hairs on the head was burned. They didn't smell like fire. None of that, man. All right, because that was that's the, that was the Lord with them, man. All right, and, and verse 28, then Nebuchadnezzar spake, and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who have sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies and they, that they may not serve nor worship any God except their own God. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made a dunghill, because there is no other God that can deliver that can deliver after this sort. You know, it says. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the providence of Babylon. Man. All right, it's, it's impossible to please Yahweh by Shemiah Shah without faith, man. All right, going back to Hebrews eleven and six. All right, and this is the time that we're that we're coming into uh, uh, now, man. All right, the true worshippers, man. All right, the time of miracles and deliverances, man. All right, this is the time that we're in, man. All right, this is the time. To, uh, this is that hour, man. The true worshippers, man. All right, and let me end it off with this. Uh, this is uh, the letter of Jeremiah and the Apocrypha. Uh, okay. All right, this is the letter of Jeremiah. Uh, Let me see if I can find it first. Hold on. Come on, this is the letter of Jeremiah. Or Baruch uh, 6, if you got the book, if you got the Apocrypha, it's Baruch 6. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, verse 34. It says, Whether it be evil that one doeth unto them or good, they are not able to recompense it. They can neither set up a king nor put him down. In like manner, they can neither give riches nor money. Though a man will vow unto it and keep it not, they will not require it. They cannot save no man from death, neither deliver the weak from the mighty. They cannot restore a blind man to his sight, nor help any man in distress, man. All right. And verse 38 says, they can show no mercy to the widow, nor good to the fatherless. Their gods of wood and which are over are, are overlaid with gold and silver like the stones that be hewn out of the mountains. They that worship them shall be confounded, man. All right. There's no God but the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, man. All right. You know, so these are all, because all, the, all these other gods, man, as it says in Psalm 96, the gods of these other nations, man, they're idols, man. All right. But this is that true hour, man. All right. Because this image, this false image that they got of Yahweh shot, all right, that, that's, 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 that's easy, that's easy light work, man. That's a cut, man. All right, that's being thrown out, man. All right, Satan knows he has but a short time, man. He knows the true worshipers are being awoken, man, in his last hour. 
all right so i'm gonna close out with that lord willing this video was edifying i'm gonna give all praise honor and glory to yahweh by hashem yahweh shah by hashem rakak wadash the bonus to the apostles elders great millstone peace and mercy to the house of david to the next lesson i say shalom abba ba ba shalom